Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? This is UTF Old School. Bring you a little bit of a quick review on a rifle I just bought. It's the Savage 64 22. Uh, picked this up at Walmart for $117. See it there. Now you can get the same rifle at Academy Sports for one thirty, I believe. And it comes with a scope. This one does not come with a scope. I put this on after I bought it. Uh, the scope, the, the one from Academy, uh, it's, I believe it's a four times fixed 10 millimeter. Uh, kind of a junky scope, not really worth it. I actually bought this scope at Walmart for, I believe it was $16 and change. And it's a Tasco, it's a cheapie. It's not one to spend a lot of money on this rifle. Uh, but as you can see, it's a adjustable three through seven times zoom, 20 millimeter. And also has what I prefer over the regular crosshairs. It has the 30-30 reticle, which I prefer a lot better. But anyway, this was a good scope for this rifle. As you can see, it doesn't overpower it. I've seen some guys uh, with this same rifle with some very high-powered large scopes, and they, they can, it looks out of place to me. Uh, this is a very small rifle. You don't need a real big scope. Uh, this one's going to work really well. I've already looked through it. Looks real good. I just got to get it sighted in tomorrow. Haven't fired this yet. Like I said, it's three through seven times zoom. The things that, well, as you can see, it has iron sights, which I'm going to leave alone there because I can take this off and use iron sights. I took actually a white crayon, if you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but I put a little white crayon on the sight there. Kind of helps to keep it lined up. The magazine, it only came with one magazine. I would have liked to have at least had two. And it's kind of a awkward to get open. You have to push it forward, pull it out, holds 10. Uh, it's a very heavy duty magazine, very heavy. Uh, like I said, I'd like to have had at least one more, but put it back in, you have to push it forward. I haven't quite got used to doing it with one hand yet. Uh, the bolt action, push in, you can lock it in place. It's got a little red the magazine. You can see whether you got it loaded or not. As you can see, this is not loaded. There's nothing in the magazine. Pull it out, slide it back in. Your safety is right up here. Push it forward, red, you're ready to fire. Pull it back, there's a little S. I don't know if you can see that. It's embossed into the metal, into the right there. It's an S. Uh, trigger, it's a very cheap feeling, but it's a cheap rifle. What do you expect? Other than that, uh, feels real good. It's not very heavy. Uh, kind of reminds me of my old BB gun I had, especially the iron sights are just like the BB gun I used to have. I still have actually. Synthetic stock. Uh, really good rifle if you just want to go out and do some shooting like I've got a 9mm handgun. 9mm ammo is not bad, but you can pick up uh, 550 22 rounds for about 15 to 20 dollars. They're, they're cheap. Anyway, that's the Savage 64 with. Tasco 3 through 7 20 millimeter scope.